Hello world, I'm an average Joe and I play games. And it's Thursday, so you know what time that is. It is Xur prediction time. We're going to predict what Xur is going to bring to the tower tomorrow, July 24th. But before we get there, let's do the question of the day. Question of the day today is going to be very simple. What are you looking forward to the most in The Taking King? So I've gotten this question uh, quite a bit from you guys, so I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to the most. So I'm looking forward to a better story uh, this time around than uh, we've had in Destiny uh, Year One. And I am also looking forward to having new subclasses to play. So I think that new subclasses will help uh, bring a little bit more balance to the game and uh, make each class able to uh, handle uh, each different situation, particularly in PvP. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but if you look at the uh, subclass that uh, the Titans are getting and the subclass that uh, Warlocks are getting, they both have very much a uh, go-hunting type mentality. Previously, as I talked about in my best class video, uh, that's really what made Hunters uh, the best class for Destiny Year One, is that when they activated their super, either Golden Gun or Blade Dancer, they could go hunting. They could go out and, you know, for the, the length of the super, they could go out and, you know, basically one-shot people, uh, you know, until they get uh, three or four kills. Whereas uh, Striker Titans and Voidwalker Warlocks, you are really dependent on uh, you know, three or four people on the enemy team grouping up in order to get a three or four uh, kill off of your super, whereas Hunters is much easier to do that because you just can encounter each enemy individually. And in The Taken King, the the Titan, uh, Fire Hammer, and the, uh, the Warlock, uh, Emperor Palpatine mode, both of those are going to um, allow you to go hunting after you activate your super and uh, and one-shot people just like hunters have been able to do. So I think that will bring a, a little bit more balance and to really um, you know, increase the, the viability of Titans and Warlocks in the Crucible. So I am looking forward to that. I'm, I'm sick of being one-shotted by golden guns. I really am. So, all right, so let me know, comment section below what uh, you are looking forward to most. So let's get to down to the predictions. So for Hunters, I'm going to predict that Xur is going to bring the ATS-8 Arachnid. It's going to be a hard pass. This is a garbage helmet, but he's, he's going to bring it sometime. For Warlocks, you'll get one of the best exotics in the game in the Armamentarium. All right, did I say Warlocks? I meant Titans. Titans, you're going to get the Armamentarium. It would be really great if Warlocks could get that, but uh, but Warlocks are going to get another good exotic I'm predicting, uh, the Ram. I don't think Xur has ever brought the Ram. I think that may be the... That and Bones of Ao may be the only House of Wolves exotics he hasn't br brought. I got mine from a Nightfall, so hopefully you got yours. But if you didn't and my prediction is right, you'll be able to pick yours up tomorrow. So let's talk about the weapon. So as we know, last week, Xur did not bring a weapon to the tower, and it was kind of a little kerfuff, kerfluffle, kerfuff, kerfluffle, however, however you say that word. It's a little bit of a, as you uh, you Brits would say, a little bit of a row. Um, and, you know, there's some conspiracy theories and everything. So that combined with the exotic weapon nerf that was announced last week, I'm going to go out on a limb and say he's going to bring Gallarhorn. I've only ever predicted that he's going to bring Gallarhorn twice. Or no, I predicted it once. This is the second time that um, I'm predicting he's going to bring the Gallarhorn. Now hear me out. I can already see hear those keyboards clicking away that you're saying, oh, Joe is not in his loot table anymore. Uh, we learned back in March the loot table is uh, is no longer used. There's some guy at Bungie that picks uh, what weapons Zer brings every week because the uh, the loot table was reverse engineered. And, uh, and, you know, uh, someone was able to, uh, to figure out what, you know, how Zer was, uh, was bringing, how his, uh, inventory was generated each week. And there were some, uh, some leaks of what Zer was going to bring in. A couple of them were accurate down, uh, you know, across the board. And so after that, Destiny changed it up and swapped it out. So now there's some guy that, that down at uh, Bungie that, picks what Zer's going to bring every week. So that, I can guarantee you, in that guy's loot table, there is a Gallarhorn. And, uh, and Bungie may 
allow Xur to bring Gallarhorn for a couple of reasons. So first of all, they know that Gallarhorn's going to get nerfed. Second of all, um, a lot of people already have Gallarhorn, so they've had to scale uh, boss difficulty, understanding that people are going to try to burn bosses using Gallarhorn. You saw that with some of the Skolas uh, changes that they made after Pris Prison of Elders came out um, by removing uh, burn modifiers from the, the possible modifiers that could be applied to the Prison of Elders level 35 challenge mode. And additionally, we're kind of in that dead period where people kind of have everything that they want from the game. So, you know, in the run up to the Taken King, it would not surprise me if Destiny, or if, uh, if Bungie threw us uh, a curveball and tried to get people back to the game um, that, ha that never had Gallarhorn. And so uh, they, I, I do believe that Bungie will allow uh, Xur to bring Gallarhorn at some point between now and when the Taken King comes out as a as a way to get people back into Destiny playing their game. So obviously people can get excited about Destiny again and they can sell more pre-orders of Taken King. Well, there you have, and uh, oh yeah, we forgot the exotic engram. The exotic engram is going to be the chest armor tomorrow. Well, there you guys have it. Let me know your predictions down in the comment section below. I look forward to uh, hearing everyone tell me how wrong I am that Xur is never going to bring Gallarhorn. I, I look forward to that. <laughs> and uh, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, do all of that good stuff. We will see you in the next game.